I'm cooking rendang. Oh, oh it covers the same spices three times. Oh, wow. The great wall of Martabak. <laughs> Buongiorno guys, it's Pacinestra, I'm in Padang, West Sumatra, Indonesia. I'm super excited to be here and I cannot wait to start this trip food too. Andiamo! Ragazzi, today is a very special day because we came to see the preparation of Randang. Actually, not the entire process from the beginning because it lasts five to six hours, but they cook it still the traditional way and it's not ready yet. So let's take a look. Tramasia. Ini Randang da Ginzapi. Wow, beef Randang. Ada Santan. So there is coconut milk, so many spices. Mulai masak, jambrapa. Oh, they start at 7 in the morning. And now it's 11.30, it's not ready yet. It's going to move it to the other pot. Look how thick it is. This is incredible. This is my favorite dish in Indonesia. I'm just super excited all the time I have it. I can't get enough. And as you can see, they continue stirring the meat and all the spices because they don't want to burn it and get the meat stick to the bottom. So it's a tough process, long process. These guys are masters, man. I'm cooking randang. Oh, oh man, it's heavy. Oh. It's so thick, heavy with all the spices, the meat. It's right here, bro. Huh? Ah. Oh. Ah. And by the way, he's the owner, Palek. Yeah. <laughs> Biar dagingnya enggak rusak. Iya. Yeah. Berapa kilo ini, Pak? 35 kilo. Oh, 35. Wow, 35 kilos. Tradisional. Iya, yeah, tradisional. Terima kasih ya. Oh, they're so strong. There is a lot of work behind this. So all the time you have rendang, just remember these guys, how they work hard. And trust me, you'll enjoy it even more. This is crazy. Look at the meat. It's really hot here yeah? and getting cooked as well. And together with the randan, they also serve many other dishes. Take a look here, a lot of fish, a lot of curries. Gorgeous, look, tempe. Here we have fish, eel, and a huge selection, a huge spread. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have a feast today. Oh, look at the fish. Yeah, fish is very famous. Obviously super fresh, it's a city by the water. Look at more. This is, oh, that's egg. Oh, we got satay as well, fish satay. We got squid and prawns. Oh, any jankol. Stinky beans with the curry. Oh my God, they have so many dishes. I can't wait to eat, I'm starving. Only by looking at all the dishes and the randang, the aroma here is like a, a top level perfume. <laughs> oh, look, look how thick it is. He's checking the meat. Oh. Oh, look how thick the sauce is. Mamma mia. And I believe that's for us. Eh? I believe that's for us. The first portion of this huge random pot. I, I can't wait. I'm salivating. Look at what we got here. The star of the day. The reason why we came here in the village is this. Beef randang cooked for six hours. And we were chatting with the owner. He told us that there are a few different types of randang. Those who live uh, by the water, they make it in a way. And those who live away from the water, so far from the water, like Bukit Tinggi and Payakumbu, they make it in a different way. And this is their way, so the land way. Incredible. Then here we have, oh, this is chumi, squid and prawns covering the traditional US Sumatra thick paste. We have fish, grilled fish. Then janko randang, stinky beans. <laughs> then janko chips with some sambal on top, some more krupuk, some veggies, gulai sayur maybe, sambal, and this is tempe, ikan bean, and peanuts. Let's start with the rice. Oh, then the celebrity of the day. 
rundown. Look at this sauce, super thick, slow cook rundown, the traditional way. Mamma mia, I'm mouth watery, I'm, I'm going crazy here. And I really want to get this. Voila, spureria, jankol, stinky beans rundown. And let's go for it, let's just try the rundown on its own. Oh, buon appetito, mamma mia, it's so hot. This is illegal. No. Oh. oh, I'm about to cry your joy, you. I'm about to cry your joy. I never tasted anything like that in my life. Attention. Charlie should be jealous because I'm about to say that I fell in love again. But this time we run down. Super tender with the thick paste of spices, coconut flavor. This is crazy. How is this possible? Look. Oh wow. Well. No, no, this is this is illegal. Times 100. Times 100. The owner is uh, far away, but later I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna tell you, huh? How illegal his food is. Okay, let's try the Jankol Krupuk. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it tastes a Jankol a little bit. And I believe this sambal has a bit of fishy taste to it. Maybe there is some anchovies. Now, let's go for the Jankol. Let's mix everything up. Buon appetito again. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. Quite unique, it has a sort of fermented kick to it. The jankol are so lovely. Kind of mushy, as soon as you bite it, it's like biting into potato. La macbana! I miss you. <laughs> he was looking at me. Mamma mia. And to end this meal, I really want to get some seafood. This is calling my name. This is satay chumi with the squid covered in a thick paste. Opala, I love squid so much. Mamma mia, oh so good. So the smoky, shard, a bit of meat, oh so good. Because I expected it to be good, but I mean not this good. <laughs> it's crazy. As of now, February 2024, these are some of the best squids I've ever had. And by the way, Everything is amazing. People are so friendly and hospitable. They cook everything the old traditional way. The owner is so nice and kind. The randang is illegal times 10. And this is something that I never said before. Eh? Illegal times, one, sorry, 100. Then the squid, I think I'm my second favorite thing of the day. And absolutely insane. Pa, wow, luar biasa. Luar biasa. Oh, luar biasa. Words cannot describe how good this rundown was. Unbelievable. I was crying of joy. Terima kasih banyak ya, Pak. Sukses. Ya, sukses. Halo, Pak. Soto? Oke. After that incredible rundown feast, we came to try local's favorite. Soto Pada. Hello, Pa. Soto Pada. Oh, beautiful. Ada, ada apa? Itu. Daging. Daging? Daging, tapi mi kentang. Potato as well. Okay. Boleh okay. minta satu? Boleh. Satu bol, yeah. Pakai chili. Oh, with chili, yes, yes. Saya suka pedas. Saya pedas? Yes, saya suka. Oh. Wah. Beautiful. Mantap, Pa. Terima kasih, Pa. Terima kasih. Wah. Paru. Uh, paru? In, uh, krupu? Okay. Dendeng. Oh, dendeng paru. Okay. Terima kasih, Pa. So basically what I need to do is just to put some in it. I believe they're gonna become less hard. So let's try this famous sotopada. So what's inside? We have noodles, beef. Now we just added some dendeng paru, which is beef lung jerky. We have potato and veggies. Okay, I want to try the broth first. Oh, nice. Oh. oh, wow, it's nice. Tastes like uh, 
meat, so beef, and some spices like maybe cinnamon in it. Let's get to the serious part. And let's give it a try. Ikrubuk as well. Buon appetito. Mm. Mm. Yeah, mm. Oh, actually, this one is so lovely inside. Nice, crunchy, one. and then it became a little bit mushy, a little bit soft. Mm. And with the potato, the broth, a bit of the chili, all the different level of consistency. You got mushiness of potato, then you got the rice, you had the meat, which is very tender, then you had the crunchiness from the beef jerky. Let's add some more chili in here and more chili in here. Oh, oh, oh. Let's make it spicy. Mm. Mm. This chili is actually a bit salty, acidic, sour, but not too spicy. It gives a nice kick, actually. Oh, this sort of so comforting. I guess what people love, especially, let's say, in a rainy day, maybe at night time. This is perfect. After a bit of a break, we came for dinner to a legendary spot to have seafood. I come back. Hello? Sorry. So, salam sorry. Hello, pa. Oh! <laughs> the gentleman is grilling the fish. Beautiful. In it, I can up. Oh, caca. Caca, crapu. Crapu? Oh. Bakar. Yeah. This is all local fish. They grill uh, down here, and then at the top, they put the bumbu, the spices. It's cooked over charcoal. <laughs> See, I can't. <laughs> I've been wanting to have seafood for a while. I love seafood so much, and here in Padan is absolutely the best. It was super red. <laughs> Very fresh, super fresh. And over here, they burn in uh, coconut husks. So when they're fully burnt... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> So basically, when they fully burnt, they take the charcoal and they put it on the grill to cook the fish. That gives an extra natural flavor and aroma to the fish. Most coconutty and uh, smoky as well. Cool, really, really cool. Okay, let's go upstairs and check the other station. Hello, pa. Oh, I can back up again, boom, boom. Oh, okay. Over here, they still grilling uh, fish but they already put some uh, spices on top, a huge spread of spices. Oh, manta. Ikan crapu? Chili? Pake bumbu. But this? Okay. <laughs> I want you to check the spices. He's uh, showering the fish, look. Oh. This is the spicy jacuzzi. <laughs> Wow, he washes everything with spices. Probably it's their secret mixture. Ada chumi, ada udang. Beautiful. So we also we also gonna have uh, prawns and maybe squid. Oh, he covers in spices actually twice. Beautiful. Okay. He actually soaks the fish into the spices three times. Now we made a crowd, there's so many people behind us. Hello, Semua. Hola, Raga. Italy. Hola, Raga, Magantrus. Bagus. Football team? No. No, no, no. Army? No. no. Police. Oh, police. Oh, Bagus. Oh. Yes. Ah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Thank you. Bye. Bye, bro. <laughs> so cool, eh? Oh, in here, uh, udang. Udang. Processnia uh, sama. Sama. Sate chumi. Oh, trimagas. <laughs> oh, they're so nice. I think we're gonna have a feast. I'm super angry.
Now they're going to show us the veggies over here. Oh, so over here are the side dishes that they serve on the table together with the fish. They have a selection of veggies, sambal. Tabigal. Chabeij or bagus. Enak. For this? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Spicy. That's funny. Beautiful. It's a huge restaurant, huh? Oh. Trimagazi. Beautiful. Ragazzi, everything is here. We have the fish, crapu. I forgot to ask for a big one. This is, I believe, a normal size. It smells so good. We have squid, squid satay. <laughs> then prawns. Mamma mia. Then we got many other dishes from veggies. We have different types of sambal. And then rice. I'm starving after I rested. It's like I haven't eaten today. Let's start with the veggies. Bit of the veggies right here. Lovely. Right here. Ooh, this is with curry. Cassava leaves? Maybe. Oh, this is what I wanted to try. Eggplants. Lovely. And now, yes, seafood. Ooh, oh, 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 so soft. And so hot as well. So meaty. And now, let's give it a go. Super hot. Buon appetito. Mamma mia. The spices. The thick paste of spices is insane. First of all, the meat of the fish falls apart in your mouth. The thick paste, it's a bit citrusy, spicy, a bit sweet almost with an acidic kick to it. No, 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 no. Mm. Mamma mia! <laughs> this is delicious. I want to try some of the veggies here with eggplants. Let's mix up everything. Yep, voila. Mm -mm. These are so delicious with the red chili. I think this is bitter melon, but I think you combine a bit of the sweetness from the fish and the bitterness from the bitter melon. I think together they match quite well. Now, serious stuff, prawns. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Grilled prawns covered in a mix of spices. Let's grab the meat. Oh, all at once. Let's try with the sauce. So let's dip it in. And buon appetito. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mamma mia, this is insane, this is insane. And this is a um, sweet soy sauce with a bit of chili in it, I believe, because it's a bit spicy. It's absolutely delicious. Wow, this is fantastic. Oh, this seafood is insane. Let's get the squid now. Lovely grilled squid satay. A bit difficult to eat. Definitely a bit chewy. It's a bit lemony. I must have put some lemon on it. But if I have to be honest, these two are oh, come closer. Illegal. Well, now I want to try this one. Put it on my plate. Let's grab another prawn. I think these are my favorite. Oh, yes. Let's give it a go. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, that's nice. That's a bit herbal, spicy, citrusy, and salty at the same time. A really enjoyable. If you guys know what this is, just let me know. And by the way, this feast is incredible. Seafood here in Pada or in West Sumatra is so good it's so good it's a must try so if you come to padang and you don't try seafood i'll look for you eh? jokes apart this is incredibly delicious i'm gonna finish this and we're going for more mamma mia the food was incredible hope i visit because the location is overlooking at the ocean. Then the staff is so friendly and the food is delicious. Great, great experience. And now we go for more food. So make sure to stay tuned. And to end our food tour here in Pada, we came to have 
di famous halo bu malam, malam. martabak halo halo semua halo juga diki martabak ya. oh ini pakai apa pake daging oh, boleh lihat boleh lihat oh asli minang beautiful <laughs> let's flip oh martabak is basically egg and omelet stuffed with vegetables spices and beef Incredible! You can see how charred. Wow, cook on a hot griddle by the master. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, it's good, Are. <laughs> I don't think I've seen this martabak before. I've never seen this martabak before. I've never seen this in Italy. Wow. Italy. Italy. Ah. Yeah. I'm used to the, the sweet martabak, so this is completely new to me. And I knew that I had to come to West Sumatra, to Padang, to try for the very first time. You just add this some margarine just to give the extra flavor. This is like a brick of meat with vegetables. The great wall of martabak. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is the chopping station. Got the gentleman with a very dangerous knife. I don't want to make him upset. That's why I introduced myself with a big smile. <laughs> so, see too, uh, like a okay. chabe. Oh. Uh, sama, ketchup, ketchup manis, yeah. so they serve it with the sweet soy sauce and chili and tomato. Yeah. Oh yeah, deep inside. Sauce. Sauce, yes. Oh my God, that's so many. Oh. So, how satisfying it is. Yeah? And what I love about that, despite how busy they are, they are super friendly. They kind of made me cook the martabak, they're super nice. Take a look at this beautiful martabak. This is called martabak nasir. Nasir, if I'm not mistaken, means Egypt. I don't know why it's called this way. Anyway, this is basically, it's an egg pocket stuffed with mixed vegetables, green onion, some spices definitely, and beef. Look, you can see how charred it is. And served with the sauce. This sauce is made with onion, tomato, soy sauce, green chili, and tomato. Okay, let's take one piece. Oh, oh, mamma mia, Max. Oh, 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 oh. Really hot. Temperature level, uh, lava, uh, volcano. Yeah, let's open it up. Look, there is meat. These are uh, green onions, some other veggies. For sure, some spices as well. Oh, mamma mia, so hot. Buon appetito. Mm. Temperature level, uh, 75 degrees. 75 degrees under the shade. Oh, it's Charlie's laughing by the, behind the camera. Oh, it's so hot. I can really taste the chunks of meat. It's so peppery. The sauce is spicy, yeah? Let's give it another try. Oh, it's still hot. Mmm. So, eggy is like eating a mega huge omelette stuffed with so much meat and vegetables. This is feeling, yeah? This is a meal. It's not a snack. This will fill you up. So you better come here, share it with your friends and family. You'll have the time of your life, especially at night time. It's really delicious. Look, this place is an absolute machine. Terima kasih banyak. Ini lamak bana. Sama sama. Oh, they are so nice. That was it with our video. Hope you guys enjoyed We had incredible food, seafood, and probably the best randan I've ever had in my life. First time having uh, Martabak Mesir. It was an incredible day full of eating in this beautiful city. Great vibes, nice people. I will definitely come back. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next week. Ciao.